Given some of the recent setbacks to de democratic movements in the Middle East, why are you so confident that the Burma will continue down the path of reform? Uh, well, first of all, I think it's important to recognize, David, uh, this is not an endorsement of uh, the Burmese government. This is a, an acknowledgment that there is a process underway inside that country that even a year and a half, two years ago, nobody foresaw. Uh, President uh, Sain is taking steps that move us in a better direction. You have uh, Anyang Suu Kyi, now an elected member of parliament. You've seen political prisoners released. There is uh, a, uh, an articulated commitment to further political reform. But I don't think anybody's under any illusion that uh, Burma's arrived, that they're where they need to be. Uh, on the other hand, if we waited to engage until they had achieved uh, a, a perfect uh, democracy, my suspicion is we'd be waiting an awful long time. And one of the goals of this trip is to highlight the progress that has been made, but also to give voice to uh, the, the much greater progress that needs to be made in the future. So uh, when I address uh, the, the Burmese public as the first president who's ever visited uh, that country, uh, what they'll hear from me is that uh, we congratulate them on having opened the door to uh, a country that respects human rights and respects uh, political freedom and uh, is saying that it's committed towards uh, uh, a more democratic uh, government. But what you'll also hear is, is that the country has a long way to go. And you know, I'm not somebody who thinks that the United States should stand on the sidelines and not want to get its hands dirty uh, when there's an opportunity for us to, um, to, to encourage the better impulses inside a country. And one of the things that we've learned in, in uh, countries around the world is that uh, change can happen very fast if a spotlight is shown on uh, what's going on in a country and the people there start believing that their voices are heard around the world. And one of the things that we can do as an international community is make sure that uh, the people of, of Burma know we're paying attention to them, we're listening to them, we care about them. Uh, and this visit allows me to do that uh, in, in a fairly dramatic fashion.